Have you ever seen this type of behavior in a mercury vapor light before? Do you see that? It's like you get a little extra bright spot dancing over here. When when I see that bright spot over there do its thing, I'll see like a shadow over here, just for a split second. But I highly doubt the camera is going to pick it up. There's a little support rod for the arc tube is, is going in front of the arc tube right here. So you get that little bit of a shadow cast from it. And if I watch this for a bit, you can actually see this shadow have like bright waves go through it kind of almost. It almost gives me the impression that the arc is kind of, instead of just being straight up and down, it's kind of like, you know, swirling. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, it's too hard to tell. We got a, uh, you know, the camera's frame rate or whatever is kind of making it look funny, but. I think we might be actually kind of seeing it. Oh yeah, you see that? Look at the very bottom of the arc there. Right where it meets up with the bottom electrode. It's got like a, it's swirling around it. Instead of just being straight on it, it's like swirling around it a tiny bit. That's really weird. I wonder why it's doing that. I wonder if this is like more to do with the light bulb or if this is a ballast problem. On the kilowatt meter it's saying it's putting 263 watts. It's running at about 2.63 amps. So it's a little over what it's rated for. Maybe this is very slight overcurrent situation. The capacitor did test a little wee bit high. It's a 15 microfarad capacitor with a plus or minus 3% and it was reading about 16.5 which felt to me like it's a wee bit over that 3%. The 15 microfarad capacitor He's reading 16.4. All right, this is jumping ahead about an hour and a half in time. I just finished editing this video. I decided to come out here and have a smoke before I do the final proof watch. And I just come on over here real quick just to see how this light's doing. And as you can tell, it's like way quieter now. It's not making that really loud resonating hum that went right through the pole and everything. It's just like making a bit of a buzz now. Which is a little more normal, although it's still definitely on the noisy side. But most notably, we don't have any more light spots dancing around anywhere here anymore. And the arc seems to have just smoothed right out now. It's not moving around at all anymore. So, I mean, of course, that's just more questions than answers. Now I'm wondering, did something change in that transformer? And now it's not causing that unstable arc and it isn't humming as much anymore? Or was the arc tube just upset because of all the vibration coming from that transformer? And now that it's all warmed up and everything's all expanded and tight, there's just no more vibrations and it allows the arc to burn properly. You wouldn't think a bit of vibration would upset the arc that much. But then again, I don't really know lots about these lights yet, so I don't know. What do you think? But I worked hard on the rest of the video that you're about to see, so I'm gonna include it anyways. So back to about an hour and a half ago for you. The old shotgun yard light over here, which is a 400 watt mercury vapor fixture does the exact same thing. 
although I've never looked at the arc tube with the camera like we did with that light over there. But I can see that same thing going on with the light kind of dancing around on the ground in random places. And before I repaired this yard light, I had this clear 400 watt mercury vapor in the shop yard light there all of last winter. And it didn't, I didn't notice any weird light dancing on the ground when it was on that light. I'm like 98% sure. <laughs> I'm sure I would have noticed it because I sure notice it on these two lights. So like I said before, I'm not sure if that's just a really tired old ballast problem or if that's a bulb problem. I guess if I were smart, I'd take the bulb out of that light and put it in the shop yard light here just to see if it does that, but eh. <laughs> I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna trust myself that I don't remember it ever doing any weird light dancing effects. And both that shotgun yard light and this fixture have very noisy transformers, although that one isn't nearly as loud as this one here. But regardless, both the transformers are noisy and they do this weird dancing effect. Maybe the voltage or something isn't quite right anymore and it's causing the arc to be just a tiny bit unstable or something. Hey, you did it! Oh. <laughs> of course the camera just can't stop trying to focus. Why is that so hard? Of course the camera can't really adjust for it. Let's play with some settings. What happens if I turn the low lux off? It makes no difference. Now what if I exposure turn that manually all the way down? Oh yeah, there we go. I didn't think this camera had it in it. Oh, but I'm just too shaky. I'm gonna go get the tripod. It's maybe the... And from the looks of it, our 